So guys, I'm in E50, and we're going to be installing Flames Mod for Minecraft 1.5.2 or higher. Alright, so once we are here, we go down to installation. Here's my video which I've taken off for no apparent reason. And there's what that sign, how great. Okay, so you would like to go right here. So you'd click on that, that brings you to right here. And you would wait for that for a few seconds, but I have downloaded this in the advance. So then you would come here, install the most recent Minecraft Forge. Open that in a new tab. Scroll for this. And you go to the main forge download. So you have come here. Make sure you do either draft or add play. Make sure you do a universal download. So I have downloaded this, so we can just close out of that. So then, once you have done that, you can open up your Minecraft. And. That's weird. Okay, so you open up your Minecraft options, force update, done, and login. So while we are waiting for that, you would find files we have downloaded, which I have put right here. So then Minecraft is now booting up, so while that's doing that, percent app data percent. Then you get to your Roman folder, which is right here. And click on your dot Minecraft. That and right click on that. Open with WinRoar or any archive that you have. You can close out of Minecraft now. And can mess that. So you open up Minecraft Forge. And you select all the files in here. Delete that. And drag these over here. And wait a few seconds. Click OK. Accept both of those. Launch up your Minecraft again. Click login. And that box should come up, and you wait a few seconds, and scripts up to here. And then you just wait for this for a couple seconds. And now you can look to your mod section, and those two should be here. And click done and click game. So then you can now go back to your dot Minecraft printer. And once you're here, you should see a mods folder, the core mods, and config folder as new folders. Go into your mods folder, take this, and drag that in. And once you have done that, click on your bin. Minecraft. Open with render R. This is going to give you optimized settings, so it will run the lots of this, so open up Optify. And select all that, and drag it into here. Click OK. Close that. Close that. Okay, now we are done with that. So, what we're going to do at this point is open Minecraft up again. Click login and wait a few seconds. And it's up. So now if you click on mods, you'll see Optifine Forge and that. And then you'll also see Flames Mod. So you click done now. And then click in. So once you've done that, you don't have any guns, planes, or anything in game. So what you want to do is come back here. Go to Content Packs. And make sure you download some parts. So click that. Uh, let's just get a few content packs also. Download, download, and download. So now we can close this, skip add, click, 
and I will be back once I have done with these. Alright guys, I'm going to our box, so I've done all these content packs. So what you want to do is open that up, and firstly, over here, you'll notice you see Holy Cup Fan. This has all the properties, and this is where you put the content packs. It will be generated after you run the mod on game, and then you drag the price pack into here. Close that. W2 pack. All these packs aren't necessary, only the parts pack is the only necessary one. So then, let's just quickly drag these in. Uh, just in the old, so... Down here. Alright, weapons. Close that. And, nerf pack. Drag that into there, and you are done with installing those. So, you could just open up your Minecraft again. Login. And, wait for this. Again. Okay. Yep, so, should be boot up perfectly. And, we are almost done here. So we can go into single player. And let's go into my world. And as you can see now, I can switch over here. Use this. Shoot perfectly fine. And I could place down planes and vehicles. So that's pretty much it. It's all to point on. Easiest installation ever. <laughs> Just kidding. So yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you guys later.